This is going to be Aram versus Animesh now. Drogba versus Theory Henry, the age-old debate for the better striker. I'm going to start with AJ. Your one-minute pitch on or 30 seconds, however much you longer you want on why Theory Henry is better than Drogba. Okay, so let's start. Oh, come on. Why is that even a debate? <laughs> so, teams, they want a player who defines their eras or defines not just their eras, but Premier League in general. And I think Theory Henry was one of those players. If you talk to all the generational defenders, be it uh, John Terry, Rio Ferdinand, or any other that you want to bring on the table during that era, they all were trembling at the sight of Theory Henry. Just, you know, when he walked into the uh, the tunnel and they were the, the fact that they had to uh, face him next, t- next day was trembling to them. He was the highest goal scorer for Arsenal. He scored 228 goals, I think 226 plus 2. And uh, he has the record for most assists in a season. So he was the most complete player. And the transformation of him from playing on the left wing to as a striker and then just being the central fulcrum of the team just says for itself. He's had uh, multiple more than 20 goals per season, uh, goals per season seasons. And whereas Rogba has, I think, two. So that doesn't sound for a clinical striker. Plus, he's a World Cup winner. He was crucial for France winning multiple trophies and as well as crucial for Arsenal went to Barcelona, did whatever he did. So, I think he was the most complete player Premier League has ever seen and for me, the best Premier League player ever. Not the best goal scorer because Shearer probably would be but the best Premier League player that ever has played in the league. Alright, Aram, go for it. Okay, so DJ Drogba is synonymous with big moments. When it matters the most, you deliver. Then he talks to Chelsea, four-time Premier League champion, and most importantly, the man or single man. He won the Premier League Champions League with the goal, and also with the decisive penalty. Something Thierry Henry couldn't do. And then, Drogba's influence went beyond stats, man. He was the ultimate big game player, <laughs> scoring in nine finals and winning all of them and I can pull up Henri's record in the finals but I guess everyone knows how much of a loser he was in the big game. And then look, Henri was a great player and he had his moments but no one could ever match Drogba's clutch performances or the way he altered the dynamics of the game single-handedly. So his legacy isn't just like in the goals he scored but also in sort of the fear he instilled in his opponents and his ability to win when it matters the most. And Arsenal fans can tell you better than anyone else on the planet because he owned them, basically. Amazing. Amazingly done. Avinav, just a quick yeah. theory on your dog bar for you. No no explanations. I just want answers. Uh, I think it it should be Andre. Andre. Uh, Bumsi? Yeah. As a left winger, Andre, but as a striker, Drogba. <laughs> I, just, I think the time when uh, when Drogba came into the Premier League, just it was it was already filled with too many boys. And the fact that he, he, he was in a team that could win stuff was crazy to me. <laughs> 